hello guys welcome back once more again to the mike money fx trading platform expat roborex all right today we'll be giving out a very unique gift all right today we'll be giving out a unique a very unique training in celebration for the mike money's birthday yes so during the period of this celebration between the 16th and 22nd of march 2022 so today we'll be learning how to create an iq option robot this robot actually can be used on different platforms iq option binance.com or other option trading platforms so basically there will be two phases of this training one phase we have to use a coding method to get it done and the other phase will teach you how to create the same kind of robot without any coding so basically let's get started so the first question is, how do we connect our IQ option account or trading account to our MT4 or MT5? So basically, this robot will be created on an MT4 or MT5. Then it will be connected to the IQ option trading platform so that whenever the robot is running on the MT4 or MT5, automatically it picks trades on the IQ option account. So what's the first stage of getting this done? We're going to download and install mt2 so mt2 platform helps us to connect our iq option trading platform to our mt4 trading platform so that's the first thing we'll do right now is to set up our mt2 trading platform and connect it to the mt4 and iq option so let's go get it done so simply go to search for mt2 Trading platform. So that's MT2 website. MT2trading.com. We're going to click try for free. Then you simply download this is for desktop and mobile version. It's downloading. We simply go to our download and extract. So I want to open a different folder and move it in there before I extract it. So this is the MT2 trading platform. You simply open a different folder, copy it in, then extract here. So you've done extracting, then you can then you can install the application, which is this one, the application folder. Run. Choose your language and click OK. Accept agreements next. Install. Finish. So you can see we have different brokers. Okay, once it is installed, it will open up 
and you can then enter your login details, your email and your password. So first of all, you have to choose which of the platform, it is Binary.com or IQ Option or maybe Spectra AI or Apari, depends which of them, but we're using either one of these two. So basically, I'll log into my IQ Option account right now. Then you enter, you click Login. So guys, I'm logged to my IQ Option account on the MT2 trading platform. So that's the balance. It shows us that this is actually the demo account and the balance is over $39,000. So we're going to log into the actual IQ Option account and confirm if this balance tallies. It corresponds with what we have here. So let me log in. So I'll log in. So you can see we're having exactly the same trading balance as the pairs on the MT2 trading platform. The same trading balance. So basically, to surprise that when the trade is placed here, it automatically translates to this place. But this is a connect connector platform. So this is a platform that connects the IQ option to the MT4 or MT5. So now let's go get MT4, MT5 set up. So the next thing to confirm if it fully synchronizes. So we'll just pick a trade and see if a reduction or addition to the trading capital or trading balance we also reflect here. We'll simply just choose a test trade, one test trade. So let's see if the balance closes higher, if it reflects here as well. So let's see if the balance closes higher or lower. Does it reflect here as well? So we have there's nine thousand nine hundred and twenty one dollars and fifty seven cents same as here as well so let this trade close in profit or loss and let's see if it reflects here and here simultaneously to be sure that it is synchronizing the profit is closed it's closing profit it's nine cents you can see that we're having there's nine thousand nine twenty three dollars forty cents. Same thing here, so it is fully synchronized. So the next thing will be to set up the MT4 or MT5 trading platform. So simply go back to the folders that was extracted, and you open the MetaTrader folder. So we're going to be using MT4 for this particular video. So that is the Apari for setup installation file. So you simply install this Apari. Run.
Okay, so it automatically opened. Okay, so it automatically logged me into my old account. So you have to open another account maybe with your phone and you log in here, or you open a new account here and you log in. So we are now logged into the new account now, the Apari, the Apari MT4 trading platform. So next thing we'll do. Come back to this folder, open the MKL4. We have indicators and libraries. So we have to copy everything in the indicators to indicator folder on the MT4 trading platform. So control A. That is control A, or you right click and choose select all. Select all here. So you control A. So you control A and control C or you copy. Copy. Now go back to your Alpari. <laughs> Open the folder. So you copy from the indicators. Go and locate indicators folder. Open it and Control V or you paste. You right click and click paste. Paste so all the indicator files are be transferred to these indicator files on your Alpari MT4 platform. Also, go and copy the libraries as well. Ctrl C or you copy, right click and copy. You go to libraries and control V or right click, control V or right click and paste. So next thing will come and refresh, refresh. And open indicators, go to Auto Trading Manual. So, I want to confirm if it is connected or not. Okay, so you can simply just test it if it's connected. I just place a trade now. You can see that's the trade. So we have to confirm that it's fully connected. Let's place on that trade again. So you can see it's automatically picking those trades. So now our MT so now our MT4 is connected to the MT2 which is same connected to the IQ option trading platform so every trade I'm placing there automatically is reflecting so every trade I'm placing on the MT4 is reflecting to the MT2 and still to reflect to the IQ option trading platform. So now we've confirmed that our MT4 is completely synchronized with the IQ option account. So any trade we place here now we automatically reflect on our IQ option account through the MT4 as 
a trading platform connector. As you can see, those trades have, as you can see, those trades are synchronously opened here on the IQ option trading platform. The same trades that we have here are opened here as well simultaneously. So now that our MT4 is synchronizing with our IQ option trading account, let's go create a simple trading robot, IQ option trading robot. So we've downloaded and installed the MT2 trading platform. We've also confirmed connection with our MT2 trading platform and IQ option account. And also we've connected the MT4 and also we've connected the MT4 to MT2 and we have confirmed it using a manual trading as well. The next thing to set up an auto trading connection using a test robot file called the IQ bot test. So there's a file that will be found on our trading channels. On our trading channels, I will drop this IQ bot test folder. The folder will contain two basic robot files the IQ bot test and the IQ bot. Now, the IQ bot test will be used to test the connection, the auto trading connection between the MT4 and the IQ option account. Why the IQ bot will actually contain a good source code for any type of trading robot. So I will show you how to modify just a part of this source code to get in your trading strategies and translate these strategies into automated trading systems for your IQ option. So a link will drop to the group and when you get to the group, you go and source out for IQ bot folder and when you open those folders, you have access to these two source code that you can use to connect and trade your IQ option with your robots. Simply copy both files. To come back to your folder, simply go to the experts and control V. You paste. Those are the two folders over there. So you open up your parry and you simply come and click this symbol that looks like a book. When you put your console, it shows you Meta Quote Language Editor. So you open it. And you simply comply. There's no error. So come here to deploy it. Let's close this. That's test bot. So once you've refreshed, you simply okay, let's refresh. First of all, you refresh. You simply drag and drop IQ bots. So you have to use IQ option broker. So let's test with five dollar and we click OK. You can see it's also picked the trade now automatically. That's the trade just picked now. Seeing that so that is a call trade, it's the buy trade. So let's try it for a sell, it's gonna work as well. We'll come back here and change here to put compile and we'll come back again. Let us reload it back again. Okay, okay, just active. See, just put a put that is a sell trade instantly. So we'll continue again to buy. We we'll changed again to Buy again, compile. So 
blessings okay just pick the buy trade so let's compile it last time and let's see to pick on the buy trade again just pick on the buy trade again so that shows you that it's fully synchronized and the code is working perfectly well five minutes time frame very perfect well and the exact amount we're setting it's actually working you can just do this double click here so let's try the different amounts let's try the ten dollars okay using IQ option five minutes time frame okay just with the trade ten dollars you can see that and it's still five minutes time frame you can see it's actually synchronized and well connected so it means our trading test robot our test robot is well compiled So now let's go and use the exact robot we want to use to trade. So now, so now let's get our own trading robot based on the trading strategy. So now I've completed setting up the auto trading connection with the IQ bot test. So what's the next stage? The next stage is out now. So the next stage is now how to create this trading robot that we trade and implement our trading strategy so let's implement a very simple and very common trading strategy called the ma crossing strategy so let's go let's go in there and set it up so you come and open up the iq bot source code so already i've coded in the source code for ma crossing using 20 ma crossing 50 ma so i'll explain this strategy and i'll show you how to simply modify it so what does this strategy trade with this this strategy trades and implements a trade whenever there's a crossing between ma20 and ma50 so let's explain in detail from the trading graph we will indicate a moving average ma20 simple commerce with the old one this is ma20 and add up ma50 the code is green this is ma50 and this ma 20 so you can say whenever there's a crossing down or crossing up so when there's crossing up when me 20 cross up above me 50 you can take it for a buy and when the reverse happens take it for a sell this is a buy when me 20 crosses above me 50 we take it for a buy trade you can see that and when the reverse happens, take for a sell trade. You see that's happening. So these are the signals that will be detected when the MA20 crosses below the MA50. We take it for a sell. This is a sell signal. So you can see that whenever the MA20 is less than the MA50 initially and now the ma20 becomes higher than the ma50 which means the ma20 is crossing above the ma50 we take for a buy so this will be initially yes for a buy and the reverse is the case when the ma20 initially is higher than ma50 and later becomes lower than ma50 which means it's crossing down below ma50 take for itself so this is a sell signal and the sell initiating trade code and this is the buy initiating trade code so it's actually that simple and i'll compile so what you have so what you have on the trading channel so what you have on the trading channel will be the code that has been edited 
so you don't have to make all this editing again what you need to do is if you're using a different ma you simply come here and make all the changes to the period if it's an ma30 against ma50 you change it or ma50 against ma100 just change it and provided the principle is the same it will be implemented accordingly and before the end of this video i'll show you how to also work with different indicators so this is working with just moving average so we can work with a different indicator altogether and i'll show you how that is done very very simple and this will be different from the other video i'll post on this same kind of lecture the phase two which will show you how to get this done with absolutely no coding or changing anything at all very very simple So since that is done, we'll simply come and drag and drop. So don't forget to always choose IQ option. And what, I, what, trade, what is the trading volume? So what is the stake amount? Let's use five dollars. It's prime time five. No martingale and let's go on yes okay so the bot is active and working as you can see that it's been initiated at the working so let's see if any condition has been met so no condition has been met yet no it's not, it's not, it's not opened any trade so let's see if Okay, we are, not, we are not expecting a trade yet, so we can simply use another trading pair. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, we're we'll expecting a crossing here soon. So let's wait for this crossing to happen and to pick a trade. Uh, guys is close to getting crossing close to crossing so there are over thousands of iq option trading strategies that are very very good online you can simply use this method to translate these strategies into your robot your own iq option trading robot and it will trade and make good profit for you in the market so the, the expected to go up it just came down now so it might not cross immediately so we're expecting that if this red crosses above the green which is the MA50 we expect to pick a buy trade signal buy trade
So don't forget IQ Testbot and IQ Robot source files are dropped in our training groups. You have the link to the training group down below this video. You click, you join the training groups and you search for the folder and download it and have a copy for yourself. Okay, you can see that just cross now. You see the more enter it crosses comes by enter it crosses again, it keeps picking trades as much as it is crossing as much as it is crossing so the frequency was so much that it stopped it stopped the frequency at which it picked so much trades so you saw it crossing and instantly is picking Ooh. trades so it crossed and fell and went back to cross again so anytime it was crossing keep picking one or two trades one trade one trade as long as it's crossing it keeps picking trades So they've just suspended the trading on my account because of so many trades within a short period of time. So it is still picking trades. This is a clear example of how it works. So finally, how do you now make corrections or how do you modify the strategy if you have a different strategy? So it is very, very easy. All right guys, so how do we modify, how do we change the strategy if we have a different strategy? So simply go to your browser You go if you're using MQL for MT4. If you're using MT4, use MQL for technical indicators, and this MT5 use MQL5 technical indicators so to take you to the reference the MQL4 reference. And you can see that all the inbuilt function I, which means inbuilt inbuilt functions, are here. For instance, you can see the the moving average, you click the moving average and it will give you a generic format. That's generic format. So you just copy this and you just change only all these parameters and you define the input and that's all you need to do. So for instance, so for instance, I'll use the parabolic as a simple example. This is this is a parabolic I where we see the eye just copy it the whole of this. So that is the parabolic function and a clear example of the parabolic function. So the shift number here, the shift which is the last number I seen it tells you the candle if it's the current candle or the previous candle. So the maximum step, the step itself, step increment, the time frame, and the symbol. So you copy this. Want to use the SAR, parabolic SAR for a clear example. Want to use it when you copy this. Want to use the parabolic SAR for a clear example. So only change the candle. For instance, let's first go loading the strategy before we come and copy this. So let's take change. The, so let's change the strategy to include parabolic star or just parabolic star. Let's use 0 0.02. Okay. Yellow color. So the step is 0 0.02 and the maximum is 0 0.2. Okay. So use the parabolic star to say if the parabolic star is above. This candle, it should take the next one for a cell. Or if the parabolic star is below this candle, for instance, look at that, take it for a buy. 
that clearly understood. So it means that I will say that if the previous is less than the candle, take it for a buy. And if the one before the previous is greater than the candle, that is a strong condition that this current candle should go for a buy. We can do the same thing for year and year. So you can see that for well, this is one minute time frame. So possibly want to use five minute time frame to define it or a one minute time frame, which means we might want to use maybe a one minute contract, one minute expiry time frame or five minutes. It depends on what is more suitable for you. So fabric size is a very good example. So let us modify it now to include the parabolic size so you get exactly what I'm talking about. So I'll simply modify it to include. So I've only modified it to include the close price values for the current candle and the previous candles, which are these two. So basically, I will change the functions now to the public sub function which is that so I central I just copy copy but well, I must understand that the first one is a symbol so I'll just copy the, the public sub function so I must understand that the first one is a symbol the next one is a time frame which is not necessary next one is a step 0 0.02 which we're using and the maximum we're using is 0 0.2 so that confirms and the shift so only shift will just change to identify which of the candles we are actually talking about or we are actually signifying to so basically use how to change all of this here let me explain the strategy properly before we continue So I'm trying to identify this crossing point. For instance, you can see that the public side was here before and the switch to, to going above the candle before it was below the candle. And now it has switched to going above the candle. And now we are saying that if it does, that happens, you should take the next candle for a sell. But if it's the opposite where it switched from above the candle to below the candle, you should take the next candle for a buy. So that's basically what the strategy we're trying to implement here. This is parabolic sar P S E R O, and they're all the same values, just for the fact that some will be two. So it means we're talking about second to the current candle. Copy. So if the previous candle, I can the previous candle as well. So when there's this switch, whenever there's that switch, it takes this for a buy. Whenever there is this switch, it takes this for a sell. Whenever there is this switch, it takes it for a sell. And whenever there is this switch from below to above for a sell, and from above to below for a buy. Above to below for a buy, below to above, it takes for a sell. So, what is the paradox as the strategy? So won't be needing all this. So won't be needing all this, but I have to send you this code, so I have to put that in my comments. So so what's the strategy now? So for a buy, is a buy signal. So this is above the close of this candle while right? this is below so that's a condition so let's take our pizza 
or PISA 2 so the first condition is above gains below So whenever you, you inputted these values correctly, it automatically helps you to recall them. But well, if it's not helping you, it means there's an error somewhere, basically, sometimes. That's condition for buy, and the exact opposite will be for sell. So you just simply switch this, or your greater than, you switch it to less than, less than, switch it to greater than. That's all we just need to implement, and that is all for that, provided all this is in place. You compile it, there are no errors. No errors, you can see that, no errors. So, let's give it a shot again. Let's open. So, we want the market to just switch. So, let's see if we get a market which is closed by these little trades. Let's refresh so we can just so this time let's take wait four dollars. Okay. That's it. So waiting for that movement to happen, let's confirm if we have changed this code successfully. Okay, it's likely we'll pick a trade here. So we've got, it's gotten a reversal there. You can see that the public sell previously was here. It's gone above. So expecting a sell trade, basically. Okay, now I just pick the sell trade. Okay, four, four, exactly. So the parameters are correct, and it's a sell trade. But it picked multiple sell trades at the same time. So that can be corrected with just a line of code. Or just a little addition to ensure it picks just one trade and not multiple trades so i'll get you the version that picks just one trade at a time not multiple trades so guys i hope you enjoyed this training so this is exactly how to build 
an IQ option robot. It's actually this easy and straightforward. I showed you you have access to multiple taking more trades. You can have access to you can have access to multiple trading strategies by just using the MQL for technical indicators function which is available on the website and you simply just take that function and come here and input it and make just slight changes and you realize that you can actually trade any kind of strategy you find there on the internet that is very reliable very good and gives good profit and you can actually translate it into a iq option trading robot that will trade your account and make good profit for you all right guys if you want to have more of this kind of free trainings simply subscribe to this channel and don't forget to share this video to your friends and loved ones and also click the notification button so whenever we drop any new video any new training you will have the notification on your phone thank you very much and have a nice day i remain the one and only mike money fx expert progress